a lot of us don't be taking our health seriously or we be saying, oh, I'll just eat some of this stuff in moderation or I'll just slowly change my diet. But when you do that, is it really helping your health? It's just some things we don't even think about. And a lot of us, we don't eat a lot of plant-based foods like fruits and vegetables. We be eating a whole bunch of different meats and dairy, things like that. And we don't even, a lot of us don't even like vegetables. A lot of us don't even drink water because we're so addicted to sugar and caffeine and things like that. But do you want the things that taste good to you or would you like better health? Because really, that's what makes you feel good. And then people always be saying, Oh, if I go buy some uh, plants and vegetables, like fruits and vegetables, it's so expensive. But if you go in the store and you look at the meats, the meats and things like dairy, that stuff is expensive. You can get a whole bunch of vegetables for just $25. You can. <laughs> I don't know why we'd be saying like eating healthy is expensive because it's not. And of course, they'd be promoting the unhealthy things on TV. It's all around. Look at it. The meat, the dairy, the fast food. I say we should be creating some plant-based fast food restaurants. We should be thinking about stuff like that and look at the food that they be serving us in the schools and things like that. It looks like it'd be looking like slop sometimes. It's like, who wants to eat that? <laughs> I want to eat the stuff that looks very healthy, colorful, and vibrant. It just brings life to you. It makes you feel better. It makes you feel younger than what you are. It's like... I feel like a kid again. Like, don't you want that feeling? Like, people that's in their 60s and 70s, and they feeling like they're 30 or 25, and they be feeling amazing. Look at all the animals that eat plants. Really, they're the strongest, if you really look at it. And look at the animals that are carnivores. Most of the time, they be laying around being lazy, and when they do go hunt for their prey, they look for the weakest. And maybe some of them, they do run fast, but they don't be running for a long time. They stop eventually. That's why they look for the weakest prey. And when we be taking like these medications for certain diseases, it's like most people, they have to take that for the rest of their life. Who wants to be taking medication for the rest of your life? Like, isn't this supposed to be helping me? Like, isn't this supposed to be curing me? Why should I have to take this for the rest of my life? That doesn't sound right to me. I mean, I don't know if it sounds right to you. I'm not trying to tell people what to do, but just do some research. Try to inquire more fruits and vegetables in your diet. Try to drink more water. I mean, people be like, it doesn't taste good or all the water tastes the same when it doesn't. Every, every type of water tastes different. Maybe just add some fruits into your water if you just don't really like the taste of water. <laughs> Most of like the things that don't taste good to us is really the healthiest for us, especially when it comes to some of these herbs. It's like the herb that tastes the most bitter. That's the one that is really, really most beneficial to you. Yeah, you may not like the taste, but doesn't being healthy taste good? I know that tastes good to me. We just don't be thinking about this stuff because we're so used. We're so used to eating all those things that we thought taste good to us. And then when it comes to soul food, think about those foods. It's like, yeah. It's been passed down to us generation to generation, but really those foods were like the leftovers or like the slops from, you know, what we was given and we turned it into food and we call it soul food. 
But is it really soul food? How do you feel after you eat all that food? Don't you feel like heavy and tired and you just want to go to sleep? Is that really food for the soul? I'm just asking. And are you really satisfied when you eat all these different foods? Because you're just, some people, they can eat all day and they just never feel satisfied. It's like, dang, you eat all day. It's because their body is missing a whole bunch of nutrients. And people always say, well, where do I get my protein from? Like when they'll be like, where do I get my protein from? When you uh, talk about plant-based diets. <laughs> you get your protein from vegetables and fruit. There's a lot of protein in plants. It's just we've been taught that protein comes from things like meat. We've been taught that. And I guess if you don't know, and you haven't been taught it, then that's one thing. But if you do know, and you choose to ignore it, in ignorance, that's different. That's on you. So, it's all on us, really. But no one is really teaching these things, and it's like, why is it? I mean, I know why, but you just have to think about it, really. Why do you think they're not teaching us these things? Like I said before, they put things out there. They put things out in movies, shows. They put things out in books. Most of us don't even read books anymore. We really don't read at all. So, And if we are reading, we probably read in the wrong books. A lot of us need to get back into reading, doing our research, going back outside, getting the nature. Getting some sun, inquiring more knowledge about all these things, and just adding some fruits and vegetables in your diet, and drinking more water. Some people ain't drunk water since 1989, <laughs> and all they drink is caffeinated sugar. And it's like, wow, wow. And we just passing these th things down from generation to generation. And each generation that is being passed down is like the lives is getting cut in half for the most part. Because people be like, well, my great, great, great grandmother ate like this and she lived to 100. But each generation, like I said, life is being cut short because they're eating the same way as great, great grandmother. And a lot of the foods that we be eating, it causes a lot of inflammation in the body. A lot of mucus built up in the body. We just, I don't know. We all have to do better because health is wealth. And all you have to do is take out the H in the word wealth and add a W. Health is wealth. And it's all in how we've been taught. It's a mind thing. A lot of us, we just be like, I can't do it, or I'll do it in modern. It's just a mind. It's all about being programmed, about what you see on TV, what you see in the stores, what you see on social media, what you see on billboards. It's like they're showing us all these different things to put it in our subconscious mind to keep us to doing these things. But we have to come to an inner standing and like snap out of it. And I'm just saying, you'll feel better. You'll want to know more. And it's like most of us, we can't even remember some things. But it's all in what we're feeding our body. What we're feeding food-wise. What we're feeding through our ears. What we're feeding through our eyes is all in what we're feeding our body. We don't be thinking about stuff like that. We don't. And what we're feeding our mind. It's very powerful. Our mind is very powerful. We can create our own reality with 
our thoughts. But if we're feeding everything in our body negativity, then that's what we're going to be creating. And you just have to reprogram your subconscious. It may take some time. But if you be di- di- disciplined and determined and consistent, you will see results and you'll feel better and your life will change. And always be grateful for everything. Your life will truly change if you do all these things and be consistent. And don't worry about people hating on you or trying to get you to turn back. People will test you, especially when you're eating healthy. And you have family members around. And they'll be like, oh, just get a little bit. A little bit won't help. And then you'll be like, ah, I guess I'll get a little bit. And dang, they got you. Like most times when you're around family and you don't eat certain things, they're not going to have what you eat. So just try to bring it with you. Don't give in. Don't give in to them doing that. Stick to it. Just stick to it. I know at times I had did that, gave in and just ate a little bit and then it's like, dang. So, but don't ever feel bad because that's a low vibrational feeling. Just, you know, I ate it. Then go back to going, go back to doing what you was doing. Okay. Sometimes we all have moments, but it's okay. Don't beat yourself up. And I remember I had wanted to volunteer for something. And it was like, you have to pay and you have to fill out an application. I'm like, hold on. If I'm volunteering to do something and help y'all for free, why should I have to pay money to volunteer and fill out an application? And then you might not even choose me. That doesn't make sense to me. A lot of things don't makes sense if you really think about it but that's just how the world is that's just how it is i say it's all a business but you tell me i don't know this is just my opinions i'm not saying anything this is just information that's all And it's like when you look up some of these business names and you look up the definition, it's like, wow, I didn't really think about that. They really got us. (laughs) It's like things like Instagram, like you're getting instant gratification, like that, that feeling instantly. When really you're supposed to create that feeling of your on your own. And it's like when you look up something on Instagram, it's just it's automatically popping up each time you're on Instagram. And it's like, dang, what in the world? So if you're looking up pretty girls, it's like a whole bunch of pretty girls is almost going to be popping up. And that's all you're going to be thinking about. It's crazy. Or if maybe you look up something like hairstyles. A whole bunch of hairstyle videos going to be popping up. So it's all about what you're feeding. And it's like, look at all these TV shows out there. That's full of drama. Look at how we treat each other on these TV shows. It's like, is that who we truly are? We shouldn't be treating each other like this. We should be showing love to one another. We shouldn't be bashing anybody or bringing them down or not supporting them. We need to come together and unite as one and help each other. And when we see somebody going through something, we should help them. And when we see people on the street like selling drugs and we just talking bad about them, we just need to help them, inform them. Because we are the people that just we bash our people so bad. We don't even want to help each other. It's like we see them on side of the road, see them on side of the road, or maybe they did uh, uh, they did something to us, and you just be like, if they was on fire, you just walk right past them because you don't want to help them. It's crazy how we treat each other. We need to do better. 
Love is the highest frequency of all. We got to do better and come together. We have to. It's just... I don't know. We need to do better. We need to work on ourselves. Do our shadow work. Figure out why it is. What's the reasons why we treat people the way we treat them? Maybe we got hurt a long time ago and we didn't heal those hurts. We say we healed, but when you keep getting triggered by certain things, that means you're not healed. Then it's still something you need to go deep within to figure out what it is that you need to heal. Shadow work is serious, but sometimes we don't take our health seriously. We say we do, but deep down, we're not really taking it as serious as we should. These are just things to think about, that's all. Health is wealth. And I truly want to be my best self. I know you do too. It's with Most of the time, we always listen to what people think we should do or what people want us to do. Like, that'll make them happy. Or it's like, but what will make you happy? What do you want to do? Most times we know what we don't want to do. And like when we think about maybe relationships, it's like we think about what we don't want. But what do we really want? Do we even know what we want? Because <laughs> we, we have this long list of what we don't want. And it's like... If you were to win the lottery, you'd be thinking about just houses and cars and all this other stuff. But what about everything else? Most people can't even tell you. And when they're thinking about being sick, they always say, I don't, I don't want, I don't. But we, but we don't think about the positive side of things. Like I said, we always thinking about what we don't want. You should be like... I want health, I want love, I want happiness, I want to be able to walk on a beach every day, I want to be able to just go outside and take a deep fresh air, take a deep <laughs> breath of fresh air, because <laughs> I haven't been able to in a long time because maybe they have like some lung issues. It's all about in what you say. Even just words and thoughts could change things. Showing gratitude every day. It's like, I just want to be able to see without these glasses. I just want to have perfect vision. I just want to be able to see things in a way that I haven't seen them before. Because maybe you have, you know, some different issues with your eyes. I see clearly. I want to be able to run for a long time. I want to be able to be walk with ease. It's all about how we say things. Because sometimes when we say things, we're putting it on ourselves and we don't even think about it. Because it's just... How we've been taught and how we've been brought up and it just feels so normal. And it's like when you're trying something new and different, it doesn't feel right. Even though it's better for you, it just feels weird or you don't know how to handle it. And you'd be like, this is too good to be true. Then it's like, it's too good to be true. Like when you've been hurt for so long and you've just been dealing with people. And then when you get with someone that treats you right, it's like you end up going back to the person that hurt you because it feels so normal and you don't know how to handle what feels right. That's how it is with everything, not just relationships. Sometimes we revert back to doing what we was used to doing because it just feels so normal to us. Like, why would you go back to the things that were toxic?
to make you feel better. Like, why would you go back to that? That doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all. Why would you stay in a place that made you sick or unhealthy or sad or that caused you trauma? It's like, why would you stay there? Why would you go back to that? It's just things that, like I said, we don't be thinking about. I don't know. But maybe some of these thoughts will make you just think. Maybe. Just maybe. Or maybe. You'll just, you know, some people, they just want to talk about you. I don't care. <laughs> just like I haven't done my hair yet. It is what it is. But people going to think and say whatever they going to say. But in reality, it's all about how you feel. What do you say? Not about what anybody else says. You know the answer deep down. You know. We all know.